This is part two of a series that I'm doing on video in Adobe Captivate. Today we're going to be talking about slide video and to add slide video to our project here we're going to go to the media icon and select video and uh, we've got slide video chosen here in the insert video dialog. We'll go to the browse button and go to the location where our video file is located. We'll click on open and at this point we have a choice. In fact prior to Adobe Captivate 2019 release slide video was called multi-slide synchronized video and the reason for that is that you had the option to rather than just simply have your video on one slide you could distribute your video across two or more slides and essentially give you the ability to resize and reposition that video on those different slides. It's ideal of course if you had uh, four or five slides worth of content and the video that also covered that same content. So that way you could synchronize the slides themselves with the video content as well. In this case I'm just going to stick with one slide for right now. You also have the option with slide video to place your video on the table of contents. Probably less likely that that's going to be done, but know that that option is available to you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK uh, to add this particular video to this slide. What I want you to pay attention to is, notice my timeline down here. I've got the default three seconds that most slides start out as, but when I add a slide video to the slide, you'll see that that duration is extended by the duration of the video. Now, of course, I need to resize this video. Uh, I'm just going to hold down my shift key while I grab one of the corners here and resize it so it fits within the area here. Uh, notice, of course, that there's the bookmark item as well as the overlay item. So I can actually navigate to different parts of the video and add bookmarks which I can later navigate to uh, or I could add an overlay element such as additional content that the video would pause to display or a knowledge check for users to actually interact with. Now of course because slide video is compatible with interactive video and is the duration of the slide playback is in sync with your actual slide itself and you'll be able to use the Adobe Captivate play bar in your e-learning to control the video playback as well. Uh, the other benefit to slide video that, that I think really is important is that uh, if you're concerned about accessibility or 508 compliance, slide video is compatible with Captivate's closed captioning feature. So that's an important uh, thing as well. When you add slide video to an Adobe Captivate project, you are increasing the size of your project by the size of that video. That video will actually reside in your Captivate library, and when it publishes out, it becomes part of your e-learning project. Uh, it will increase the size of your project, but the good news is, is that if your learning management system is behind a firewall and users don't have access to uh, video streaming services like YouTube. It doesn't matter. This video is part of your e-learning project, uh, so it doesn't require uh, specific internet access. Let's do a preview of this project right now and see what this looks like on screen. So you can see here that the video is playing in time with the slide itself. So if I use the Captivate play bar to pause this video, uh, I'm also pausing the project as well. And if I had closed captions, I of course could have them appear on the screen, perhaps in this black area right here. But as you'll see, of course, play, pause works. I can even rewind to the beginning of the slide and start the slide over again. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.